Hello, hello everyone, it's me again. So today's video I'm gonna do the unboxing of this Logitech G920 steering wheel with the shift gear. Now, now there's a two version of steering wheel. One is G29 and G920. So G29 is for PS4 and PS5 and PC. And for the Xbox one is G920 and PC of course. So let's start with the shift gear guys. So now the shift gear is totally optional, you don't have to get it. Now I got it because I wanna play Forza Horizon with that so that's why i got it and let's see the first box so inside of the box we have another box which the which includes the shift gear so if we, if i take it out from the box as you can see it's set for g29 and g920 will work for both those devices g29 and g920 and this side we have many languages if you want to read and let's open the box now let me take this knife uh, another side okay so what I got there the shift gear and mini instruction diagram showing on how how you can connect the with the steering wheel the shift gear let me take out from the plastic bag so there's a cable to connect and the shift gear material quality feels like a plastic totally okay guys let's open this box now so inside of the box there's another box which contains the g920 steering wheel and if i take out this box from there you'll see different type of languages over there again different type of languages inside you'll have the pictures of g920 steering wheel let's cut this tape now let's open this box and you'll see ins instruction manual on how to connect the steering wheel the power brake of course you'll need to connect this and some ideal stand with the chair if you want to buy for the steering wheel of course and some warranty paper and let's take out this steering wheel from this plastic bag let's look at the quality of the steering wheel now some of the parts are metal some of the parts are plastic now let's look at the feature of this steering wheel what buttons we have so from the left we have navigation button sharing button and LSB button. Now the LSB button used for to play porn when you're driving the car. So from the right side we have X, Y, A, B button. So those buttons are used for to pause the game, going back to the game, or changing the view of the game, depending which game you play. Menu button. So when you want to go back to the menu and quit the game, you can use that button to do that. And then we have RSB button, which is used for change the view of the car for example when you drive the car you can press that and you can see from from the inside of the car or outside of the car back of the steering wheel we have this gear so if you don't have manual shift gear you can use this gear instead of that logitech logo two screws if you want to set up on the computer desk this two is used for if you want to set up on the stand here you can put the cables when you are setting up the steering wheel now let's take out the pedals from the plastic bag now it feels it feels like plastic the base of course the clutch uh, the pedals are metal as you can see if you press clutch it goes down brake goes a little bit down and the accelerator goes all the way down back of the pedals we have six screw holes this will be used for a stand and this is for the carpet if you put top of the carpet and this cable will connect to this steering wheel so let's get started guys so the first cable I'm gonna connect is the pedal cable so I'm gonna put first inside of this and see if how much cable do I need readjust the cable and then connect safely because as you can see there is a few pins so be careful when you connect this cable and then the shift gear cable and after that the power cable so whenever you connect the steering wheel, you start rotating it like this every time. And I'm gonna install the Geologitech G-Hub. So this software will work for PC. I don't know if it's gonna work for Xbox, but that's all I know. For it will work for PC. So I'm gonna install this software. I'm gonna wait for the permission. Allow access. Click next. click next and learn more accept and I'm gonna click G920 
and there's a various option you can see commands keys and another option for the software if you want to connect with the software you have discord OBS etc and then if I go to the second option you can see that I'm moving the string only from here you can you can change the sensitivity centering spring strength and from the third option you can change the settings of the any pedals and the last one is just command system and you know some other settings of the steering wheel so now let's play the Forza Horizon game so let's start with the first gear first of all let's move a little bit faster to second gear third gear fourth gear and then fifth gear I can go up to six so now I'll show you what happens if you go faster now as you can see as you will take a picture with one monitor we cannot really enjoy this game and I'm using as you can see I'm using three monitors and now three monitors is actually nice because you can see from each side from from left to right you can see the full view and as you can see I'm using three monitors different the, m the main monitor is bigger and two monitors are same so luckily it did work with this three monitor different now let's play formula one now formula one is one of my favorite game for the racing category as you can see I can change the view by pressing this button from the steering wheel as you can see I can also change the gear from the steering wheel however saying that this game was a bit difficult for me because you have to move really fast for this game and if you don't really move fast the steering wheel you're gonna hit ended up hitting with something so you have to really slow down and then move the steering wheel now you can mount this on your table or you can mount this on this chip stand like this one I bought it now the reason I bought this because I have a limited spa space in my room and I can fold this and I can pu put somewhere else now if you want the good one the good one will be this one art simulator now this comes with the chair and on the stand but you'll need more space for this one so guys thanks for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Adios.